Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 59 maximum matrix sum. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. This problem I spent about four minutes on because I. The short answer is that um, even though in this case, you so the idea is that you can flip, flip the signs of two adjacent elements uh, one at a time. The idea here, though, it's a little bit tricky to play around with, and that's that's why it took me so long. And my code is a little bit yucky anyway. But but the idea is that okay, let's say you have let's start with two two um two negative numbers, right? Well, you can kind of think about it as um uh, a uh, uh, a a a problem where you you're trying to get them next to each other. And and you can get them next to each other very easily because um, let me actually pull up paint real quick so I could kind of explain this a little bit better. Hmm. Hang on a second. But yeah, but the basic idea is that let's say you have you know a matrix that looks like this. I have more boxes, but that's fine. Uh, and then even number of boxes, I don't think matters. Let's say, let's start with two boxes being negative numbers, right? Um, and you can prove more than that anyway. Let's say you have this one and this one. Well, because you can always cho choose to um, flip two ones, two cells, um, two adjacent cells. You can think about them as getting them together, right? So for example, in this case, you can just flip... Uh, here with here to this one. So you can kind of think about it as moving it one at a time because what are you doing, right? What you're doing is that you're flipping, say, this one and this one. That, in a way, is just visualizing it from moving this X to here. So then, in and then you can kind of follow that through by moving it here. And then now you have two Xs that are next to each other. And then now you have canceled them out, right? So now you, have, you cancel them out. No, okay. So that's basically the idea here. Um, so, so, and you can kind of do this inductively. Um, you, you prove by induction to so that if the even numbers of of negative numbers, you just flip all of them, and then you basically take the sum of the absolute values, right? So that's that's negative. Let's say what what happens if you have odd number of them, right? Mm, let me do 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 do. Okay, doesn't let me can erase more than that. So hang on. So now let's say you have only one. I mean, if you have odd number of them, you can also do what we just said earlier. So now you now reduce to one number. Well, how do you how do you maximize the number of or how do you maximize the sum? Well, well then in this case, as we said before, you can actually move this to any cell you like, right? You can move this here. You can move this here. You can move this back and forth. You can wave. You can hang out like you don't care. Uh, you can move it anywhere, right? And in that case, then it just becomes greedy, right? It becomes greedy because now you can choose the one cell to subtract from. And that cell now is, yeah, now, now you just take the one that is the smallest to subtract from. And that's, that's basically my algorithm. Um, it's greedy. And you can also write this in a cleaner way, but... But the idea is that, okay, first I count the number of negatives, and if the even number of negative numbers, then I just take the sum of all the absolute values. If they're odd number, then I, I, I keep track of the smallest absolute value, and then I subtract it from the total. Uh, we subtract it twice because, because we add it here, so, so we just have to subtract it twice. To do, you can do the math. Um, again, this is going to be linear time, where linear is the size of the matrix, and constant space, because we just have a couple of variables. Um, that's all I have for this one. You can watch me suffer live during the contest. Next. Annoying. summation of it. Okay.
wow, today's problems came to play because what the, what is going on? Think of some heap solutions, but It's not wrong. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like contest problems and stuff like that. Uh, there are a lot of smart people there and also me. So yeah, um, stay good, stay healthy. I'll see you in the next problem and to good mental health. Bye-bye.